Hello friends, today's video is all about the plasma pheresis. Plasma pheresis kya hai? Ye ek experimental proce procedure hai which is done in animals to, de to demonstrate the importance of plasma protein. Matlab plasma protein ke kya importance hai? Inko demonstrate karne ke liye jo experimental procedure kiya jata hai, use hi plasma pheresis kehte hai. Plasma pheresis was established by George Hoyt Whipple. And because of this, earlier this experiment was also called as Whipple's experiment. Now we will see what is the procedure of plasma pheresis. Plasma pheresis ki jo demonstration hai wo dog me ki jati hai. What happens ki blood is removed completely from the body of the dog and the blood, blood cells are separated from the plasma and washed in saline and reinfused in the body of the same dog along with the physiological solution called Locke's solution. Now what happens due to sudden lack of protein the animal undergoes the state of shock. If the animal is fed with a diet containing sufficient high quantity of protein the normal level of plasma protein is restored within seven days and the animal survives. The new plasma protein are synthesized by the liver of the dog. If the experiment is done in animal after the removal of liver, even if the diet contains adequate quantity of protein, the plasma proteins are not produced. The shock persists in the animal and lead to death. Thus the experiment Plasma pheresis is used to demonstrate two important things. First is the importance of plasma protein for the survival and second is the synthesis of plasma protein by liver. As the lack of plasma protein leads to the death of the animal shows the importance of plasma protein for survival and as after the removal of the liver, there is no synthesis of plasma protein shows that the plasma proteins are synthesized by the liver. Now we will see what is the clinical significance of the plasma pheresis. Plasma pheresis ko blood purification procedure bhi kaha jata hai for an effective temporary treatment of many autoimmune disease. Jo autoimmune disease hai un in that case it is a very effective treatment but it is a temporary treatment and because of this it is also called as therapeutic plasma exchange autoimmune disease me kya hota hai ki jo immune system hota hai it attacks the body's own tissue through antibodies or jo antibodies hote hai they are protein in nature which circulates in the blood stream before attacking the target tissue so plasma pheresis mein hum kya karte hain ki we remove these antibodies from the blood. So what is the procedure of removing these proteins from the blood? Venous blood ko patient ki body se remove kiya jata hai aur jo blood cells hain they are separated from the plasma by equipment called cell separator. The equipment works on the principle of centrifuge. Anticoagulant is used to prevent the clotting of the blood when it is removed from the body. After separation of blood cells, plasma is discarded and the blood cells are returned to the bloodstream of the patient by mixing with a substitute fluid, saline and sterilized human albumin protein. So what is the use of plasma pheresis? Though plasma pheresis is used to remove antibodies from the blood, it cannot prevent the production of antibodies by the immune system of the body. So it can provide only a temporary benefit of protecting the tissues from the antibodies. The patients must go for a repeated session of this treatment. But this procedure is an effective and temporary treatment for the following autoimmune diseases like myasthenia gravis which is an autoimmune disease causing muscle weakness. Second is the thrombocytopenic purpura which is a bleeding disorder. Third is the paraproteinemic peripheral neuropathy which is a dysfunction of peripheral nervous system due to an abnormal immunoglobin 
called para protein next is the chronic demyelinating polyneuropathy which is a neuro neurological disorder characterized by progressive weakness and impaired sensory function in the legs and arms due to damage of myelin sheath in peripheral nerve next is a gullen barre syndrome which is also an autoimmune disease causing weakness and abnormal sensation like tingling in the limbs and paralysis lambert atton myasthenic syndrome which is also an autoimmune disease of neuromuscular junction variation in plasma protein level first is the hyperproteinemia hyperproteinemia is the elevation of all fraction of plasma protein and next is the hypoproteinemia which is decrease in all fraction of plasma proteins 